What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back at it again with another Summoner's War video. Today we're gonna be jumping into some Guild War matches, however, we gotta take the time to talk about the current HOH for the month of December, Diva the Light Chakram Dancer. Now, I know if you guys are like me, you're pretty excited about it because not only is this a great unit just overall, but it's an option for you uh, to get some quick fodder if you have it already. So we'll just take a look at her skill set real quick. We'll hop into a way for you to get some additional fodder if you have some extra guild shot points. And then we'll go ahead and jump into that guild war battle. So first up, let's take a look at the skill set. Similar to all the uh, first skills of the Chakram Dancers here, we have the opportunity to uh, hit the enemy two times and do a little bit more damage when the HP is low. The second skill, similar to Shayna, the fire one, we have the AOE attack here. Um, that's gonna have a chance to stun the enemy for one turn and then her passive, which makes her super unique, gives her the opportunity to ignore defense with a 25% chance when attacking the enemy under inability effects. So um, as you guys might've guessed, uh, out of all the boomerang uh, warriors uh, that this one's going to pair up with, I'm going to have to say Maruna is going to be the best one to go. If you have not seen this one already, we'll take a look at it. Maruna, the fire boomerang warrior. She actually has two abilities, uh, the second skill and third skill alike, that have uh, are both AoEs and have a chance to stun. So not only uh, when you pair those up, they're going to do a ton of damage, but also have the potential to ignore defense. So uh, this is going to be interesting. We're going to definitely see a lot of uh, fun cleave cons when we're talking about PvE, or maybe some people will have some fun in PvP. We'll have to see where it goes from that. However, uh, I did want to uh, just let you guys know, this is not something that I generally recommend um, all the time, but if you have yourself like your guild shop uh, towers maxed out and you are looking to get not five, because that's what you can get from the Hall of Heroes, but 10, uh, there is a way around getting a little bit more. This is something that we used to talk about as the uh, content creators so quite a way ago. And uh, we really haven't brought it back up because it seemed like it just wasn't really worth it, right? So uh, if you hop on over to the guild shop here, uh, you will see that you have the option to purchase uh, all my team so many pieces, right? And for five fragments, you can spend 200 of your guild points. And basically after a thousand guild points, you can get yourself 25. Now, um, one of the things that people can do is essentially when you do each stage in the Hall of Heroes, you're gonna be getting 25 uh, basically pieces, right? So after every single stage, if you want to, you can come back here and spend a thousand points to get the 25 pieces and then use those uh, in order to get yourself one of the summons versus having to do two stages and get the uh, 50 pieces or 50 fragments to go ahead and do it. So legit, you can, I think it's, what's it come down to? I think it's, uh, I think it comes down to 5,000 points altogether, which is, again, it's a lot of guild points to say the least here, but um, when it comes down to if you're done with your towers and you've already bought, you know, uh, maybe you're Super Angelmon and you're, you know, you're looking at Mystical Scrolls right now. If we're talking about random Mystical Scrolls uh, that you could potentially get a, a, a net for and a very super rare versus spending a little bit more, investing a little bit more to getting the exact fodder that you want, which of course for you guys out there, uh, there's a lot of twins that, um, a lot of check chances that you may have that you may not have the skills for. And without a doubt, we've always uh, preached about the value of skilling up a unit and to be able to see the max potential. This is one that I'm definitely um, gonna be investing in uh, as it's so super hard uh, to get these units here. So again, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, uh, the Almighty Summoning Piece, if you want to uh, get yourself uh, some additional uh, pieces or additional summons, um, use this method that I showcased you right here. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back at you as soon as possible, okay? Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the match here. Now we are uh, up against Dominus, Ominous. We're gonna go up against uh, some green towers if we can. Uh, let's go ahead and have some fun. I mean, obviously with regards to the twins, uh, we gotta bust those out here. I feel like, I, I feel so bad because I see, you see you see me using these teams uh, quite a bit here, but um, I'm having so much fun with Garrow and I'm having so much fun with the twins. The twins just make sense on the back end uh, downtown over there because we got the multi hits. We'll be able to uh, push through Triana's passive. Up top though, dude, I just, I'm having such a blast with the, uh, with the Garrow Bastet Ethnic copy. Like, it's hard for me not to do it, even if it doesn't make too much sense at the end of the day. Like, it's just super fun to uh, do a little gambling with here now. This is kind of interesting. Um, I think here, we're gonna have to take a step back. Just go for the stun, and then possibly stun Feng Yang if we can. Um, of course, I am not built on accuracy, just raw damage here, so now we're gonna put ourselves in a situation here. We're gonna, we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna make our, uh, Ethna, sorry, correction, our Bastet a little bit vulnerable, uh, because we have ourselves a defense break on it, but that's okay. Um, let me go ahead and try to hit this one if we can. Uh, we did get a stun, so let's go ahead, can we switch here? I don't think we can kill the Fang Yang all day. Uh, so I don't want to do that. 
Um, I do, I think what I want to do though, is I want to bring this, I want to bring this guy down just a little bit here. Let's force the heal if we can, which he doesn't even go for. He's like, whatever. Uh, let's put this uh, on here. Um, I do want to, I am going to go, I am going to go for the defense break for the try to get the stun here. We did get the stun. So let's go ahead. We still have the attack buff. Hmm. We still have the attack buff. This is funny. I feel like I should just take out a Ladrio right now. Um, and then not worry about Feng Yang. That's probably a good idea. Let's just do that because you, you know how it goes, right? You, you, you go for Feng Yang, Eladriel Violent Prox, he raises up Feng Yang, and it's like we're starting all over again. So, um, yeah, this is a super fun comp. The good thing about this is is that, uh, I mean, obviously Bastet, you know, makes it a whole lot easier, but there's so much, uh, there's so much just raw damage, there's so much stun potential uh, between the second skill of uh, Garo and, of course, the second and third skill of Ethna because of the fact that I have the uh, Despair set on her. So it's, it's definitely a blast. So... Um, I think I'm going to go for Retesh. I'm actually just going to try to go for the sleep here. I feel like she's going to cleanse. Or she would have potentially cleansed uh, the other units here. She would have potentially cleansed uh, Retesh, maybe? Come on already. Now, this is this is the downside where we're like, oh, we don't have a violence set on that uh, on that Sabrina, but that's okay. Uh-oh. I didn't even realize it. Uh, I already broke through. I already broke through my... Um, uh, what's it called? I already broke through my shield here. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, so I think we need ourselves. Oh, that that is super clutch. So, do we go? Yeah, we have to tag. We have to tag it here so that we can go ahead and proc the uh, skill. Um, the shield should be coming up. So now we can save. Now we can save her. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to focus on that Molong. Molong better not violent proc <laughs> into a dragon dance for the stun. That would be. That would just be horrible. Uh, that would just be horrible. But hey, we got it done. All right. So now Triana got nothing else to do, but just sit there and take it like a champ. But it's all good. Ooh, she's on a Violent Nemesis set, which uh, I didn't even realize here. I guess that's a, a pretty common thing if people are not running Violent Will. Not, Nemesis is, uh, I mean, I, I would I would say it's a, it's a definitely recommend one if you can't go Will on it. Um, since uh, people got to make the argument where they want to target, you know, one unit, uh, you know, one of your DPS for the threat just to push through the passive or if they just want to target her and... And get her out of the way. Yeah, not, not a bad choice. Round two, we got Fang Yang, Iona, and Ludo. Ludo, Ludo, Ludo. So what do we do here? Do we go? I feel like we need to embarrass ourselves by bringing in, uh, by bringing in our, our uh, ignore defense comp. So get ready to see some crazy damage, guys, because it's not really gonna happen. I feel like, I feel like this team comp is truly jabating me, right? Like I feel like that uh, Iona has like two defense runes plus a defense lead. I, I feel like it's. It's not going to be all too pretty here, but we're definitely going to give it a go. Copper has the better runes out of the two. Um, honestly, I was thinking of bringing like Jameer and Messity Copper, um, but I, I feel like I feel like if this guy's setting me up, we, we're just going to fall for it. Like we're just going to go for it now. Uh, down below, I don't want to bring the same team. Uh, I will do uh, to sign here just to deal with that passive, and then let's go ahead and. Should we have some fun with a different unit here? Um, I think we should do. I think we should do. Let's. Can we bring in? Can we bring in Camille? Would Camille make sense here? I don't think Camille would make sense here. Um, let's. Let's go to allow Jean to kind of focus it down. Let's see. What could we do for a different DPS here? Uh, maybe. Maybe we go. Maybe we go Mihao Wang. Let's go Mihao Wang here. We'll bring in the accuracy, um, and we're just kind of. We'll probably just focus on the burn to get it out of the way. And then hopefully Miha Wang can take a couple of hits. Again, he's stacking it pretty hard when it comes to the defense here. Um, hopefully he gets a few more hits um, so that he can uh, <laughs> so he can get that uh, passive up and do a little bit more damage. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt towards Theo, but we're, we're gonna definitely go for it here. Okay, so let's pray to the RNG gods. Is this Iona on a defensive rune? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, we got it out. 52k. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I was pretty surprised to say the least. Um, here's the deal. I feel like Feng Yang's the next. He's going to have high... Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, bro. Whoa, bro. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. What, what did I do? 18k? This guy's stacking HP or what's going on here? Maybe we should have gone for... Uh, maybe we should have gone for Ludo. Holy cow. Uh, let's see. So we can't... Obviously, we can't tap... Uh, we can't tap him. We don't want the defense break on him. Uh, we will go for the stun, though. We will go for the stun. But we still gotta, we're still going to wait here. I think I think Bulldozer is going to be our way to go. Oh, shoot. Let's do, let's put it on, let's put it on him. Uh, just so we can cleanse that defense break as soon as possible. Um, can we stay alive for just one more turn? Maybe, question mark. Can we get a stun? Okay, okay, I'll take a stun. 
Uh, let's go with the defense break if we can. No defense break. Wait a second, though. Is our is our abilities up? I think we casted our defense buff a little too early. I don't think it's going to be up for the uh, ignore defense. Which, of course, it really doesn't matter, right? Because copper is defense broken. Rip the dream. Come on already. Get the kill. Oh, my God. Get the kill. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, when you're defense broken, there's nothing you can do. Um, wow. Ludo so OP. Ludo is so OP. Keep going, Ludo. Oh, my goodness. Show him what it is. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and take a hit there. Unfortunate. So, um, note to self, need to get good when it comes to our rune quality uh, because apparently they're stacking HP like a champ there on that thing. Which I have seen people um, bring in a little bit more HP just to kind of balance it out since they cut the defense lead. But again, I was hoping that we were going to get the kill. Apparently not. Apparently not. So, unfortunately, we cannot focus down Perna. He still has the immunity. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and work down this. Uh, uh, work on this John if we can. Come on now. Oh my god, rip the dream. Do we stun? I feel like we need a stun here. Oh, let's go for the defense break here. Come on, there's the oblivion. Okay, do we sleep? Oh yeah, because the two turn provoke is gonna be up, right? I feel like we need to go for this. I think the two I, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he used it yet. Um, so that's good. We can get this perna out right now. Maybe. Can somebody crit for once? There we go. Hey, alright. Okay, so Immunity's back up. Let's just get John out of the way. Like, whatever, right? Theo, we'll deal with him in a second. We got the Oblivion if we need be. We should be able to auto it out <clears throat> and have no problems here. So, um, again, guys, I am super, I'm super stoked for you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm even more excited for myself uh, because, honestly, I know out of all the choices that were available, nobody was expecting the Light Shotgun Dancer. Like, I, and it's a really good unit. It's not, like, super OP, but... Out of all the units that we were getting thrown out our way for the potential, um, I really did not think we were going to get that one. So I'm really excited that Comptos gave us that opportunity. I think we'll go with this Mao guy. He's plus three. Again, we're running actually a plus six rule right now in FFL Delta. So this is interesting. I'm actually getting a chance to do one of the tougher guys when generally I don't uh, I don't go for it. I just, <laughs> I just stay with the lower ranks here. Uh, let's bring the Sarin up top to deal with Juno. We'll get that out the way. I see Helena on the bottom and it just makes me excited to bring her in. So we'll go ahead and do her as well. Uh, and then we can, sh we should bring in some kind of uh, immunity, yeah. Let's do, uh, should we do maybe, oh, should we go immunity? Should we really, should we do the immunity or should we just go for, should we go for some of us? No, 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 let's, let's do it. Let's, let's stuff off Velagil here. Velagil is hanging around. Velagil, oh man, rest, rest in peace, Velagil. He has lost so many good runes here. It's unfortunate, but uh, I think between what we got, we should be good uh, up top here. I think I want to have some fun with uh, one of the comps that we actually were able to take on a really strong defense uh, last time around. Um, it's kind of a gamble, but we'll, we'll go for it here. We'll bring in we'll bring in this uh, Ophelia on the lead. We'll bring in Theo, and then we'll go ahead and bring in um, we'll go ahead and bring in Triana. Should we do Triana? Or should we do should we do double Pally Pally hype? Should we do double Pally? No Triana. Let's go double. Let's go double Pally. Let's go double Pally. Okay, so. This is it's kind of interesting if you guys haven't seen it. Um, actually, you know what? Let me go run resistance here just to help out with the bombs. Um, it I don't know. If, I think we've showed this one a couple of times uh, on stream, but it's kind of weird. It's like the uh, provoke takes uh, takes uh, takes priority over the, uh, uh, the threat there, but we'll see how it goes out. Okay, defense break here. Can we say? Oh, really, dude? Oh, man, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay! <laughs> okay, I guess they were like, you know what? Uh, I, I know that you have like 0% accuracy on the unit, so we're just going to give you a couple of honor cards. No big deal, right? No big deal. So let's go ahead and just cycle through, get some defense breaks in. Okay, apparently we need to run, we need to bring back Wusa. We just need to run accuracy lead all day, because we just can't do it to save our lives here. Alright, should we go for the stun? Which it's not too smart, because... We are going up against a 55% resistance lead. Wow, take note there. We got a uh, we got an additional turn there. We weren't expecting that. Um, get a Violet proc. Oh, yeah. Now, we're okay with a two-turn provoke. Just don't put your... Oh, gosh, darn it. Uh, <laughs> I did not want him to put it up there. Of course, Ritesh gives him the heal that he needs, so we can't switch over. We can't switch over on our Helena, unfortunately, but that's okay. We got the defense break in. No, we don't got the defense break in. Come on already. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, man. Come on, Bella Joel. What is going on here? You gotta you gotta strip something, man. What do we do? Do we hit? I mean, we might as well hit Ritesh, right? There's no point 
There's no point in hitting. Uh, there's no point in hitting this unit. There's no point in hitting John. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's cleanse it out. Now we should be able to put our defense break in. Again, we're not going to. There's no point in putting up the shield. Like we're 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 at the finishing we're at the finishing line here. We can get it done. Get this kill, and then now we should be able to finish it out. We may lose Helena, but I think this is the third uh, attack, so I think we're going to be okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put the defense break in, and we should. Oh my God, really? Come on already. Come on already. All right, all right. So round two, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Oh my God. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I completely forgot about the fact that I actually had immunity now on my Theo. My Theo took a little bit of a hit um, in the last uh, FFR. Not this one, but the previous one. And I completely forgot. I seriously completely forgot uh, that we had <laughs> that we had a they were to win on it because that would have been bad there if we got locked down. So let's go ahead and get this uh, Theo out the way. Uh, this is the beauty about. Helena on, on defense here. Like, Helena is just so unpredictable. She might stay in Yumic form. She might switch over. Um, I just feel like there's really no... Yeah, it's, it's just not... Oh, I shouldn't put it on there. I, I, I'm not paying attention, obviously. I think the medications are kicking in. But, um, you know, she's just not reliable on, on defense. Not, not a good choice for defense here, in my humble opinion. Um, unfortunately, we're going to take a bomb, but that should be okay. I can't imagine this one being a super high... Uh, attacking unit and so there we go we're gonna go ahead and cleanse off theo so we can get ourselves the uh, kill on uh, cr and then we should be good i feel like we'll go ahead and leave there's really no reason uh to leave down to work on jo josephine right helen is the one with the defense break helen's gonna be super annoying um and so again since she's in human form we're just gonna have to take advantage of it so again guys um that's pretty much gonna be it i do want to extend my big thanks to everybody in the summoners war community that did tune in yesterday uh, they did see the video. Um, actually, as you can see right now, you can't really see it. Um, it's kind of a little bump here, but I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of padding here. I don't have my brace on right now because um, it's just super annoying when I'm trying to record. Uh, and I, and as you can see, I'm kind of. I've been looking down the whole time because I'm using my phone. I'm not using my tablet. My tablet requires me to like lift up my arm, and I can't do that right now. So uh, just bear with me. Uh, I know that. Um, like I said before, I don't want to, you know, go days on end without, you know, posting any videos, but I'm trying my very best to put out a daily video without getting in the way of all the other priorities that I have. I have to do, uh, physical therapy every day. Um, I have to do, uh, two types of act or uh, two types of rotations of activities, uh, in the morning and the evening before, like one before through physical therapy and one afterwards. So literally like, it's a good thing that I'm off of work, completely off of work because my, my whole day is locked down with. Uh, just making sure I recover. Um, so again, this is the second time around with the surgery, and this is one of the things where, like, if I don't get aggressive with my uh, therapy and actually do what you're supposed to, not do what you know they say, and then just kind of push it to the side, like I can actually relapse and put myself in a, in a worse situation. So obviously, uh, my intention is to do that. So don't worry, it is mid morning now. I already got my morning stuff done. Now I'm gonna be, you know, recording this video, throw it on there with a few meta edits because again, I can't use my right hand. I have to use my left hand to mouse. So I just do a little bit of stuff there maybe some music and uh get ahead out to my physical therapy so i can get that all done but either way guys super excited for you all for the diva hoh i hope you guys enjoyed that quick tip if you guys have any more tips for anything out there please feel free to put it in the comment section down below and i'll be more than happy to check it out okay so we can all take advantage of it this weekend all right that's gonna be it guys thank you all so much for tuning in it's your boy childish and childish place checking out take care and we will see you all in the next one i'm out